if you want to make sure you get your hands on your favorites and you want to come out tomorrow. I remember being there as a reporter and being a just I couldn't stop shopping. So, Lena, thank you so much. We are in the gym. We are getting you ready for Valentine's Day. Don't say I never gave you anything, Good Morning Arizona family, because we are going to spice things up this Valentine's Day. Uh, but we have Barry here. She is from Summit Yoga, and your location is which? Uh, Scottsdale Road and Goldust. Um, we're talking about how yoga can ignite passion and make you even more appealing to your partner. At least make you more flexible if you know where we're going with this. Um, so what should we be thinking about when we're um, looking at yoga in this particular way? Well, with Valentine's Day right around the corner, it is definitely a nice way to take your yoga practice off of your mat and bring it into the bedroom. <laughs> okay, so we've got three yogis here and uh, they are ready to demonstrate some of the poses in particular that you would say would make you maybe more open to love. And that can mean also just receiving uh, affection and, and good feelings, right? Right. Okay, okay, so what are we starting with? We're gonna start with downward facing dog. So the hands are about shoulder width distance, the feet are about hips width distance. And down dog is a great pose because it helps to strengthen the body so it improves muscle tone, which obviously helps improve overall comfortability with ourselves, mm -hmm. which is, of course, very important. Um, in addition to flexibility, mobility, and it is incredibly calming for the nervous system. So anything that's going to be calming and relaxing is going to make it, you know, improve intimacy. And one of the things that you really have to get used to when you're new to yoga is the feeling of somebody who you may not know very well, your yoga instructor, coming up and giving these adjustments to you that feel really personal. Right. And as you get more comfortable, you, you actually long for them, right? I mean, it, it really makes a big difference. For sure, yeah. I mean, it's nonverbal communication, mm -hmm. and it's important to be able to experience touch that also comes from a non-sexual, yeah. very platonic and well-intended place. Makes you feel a little more comfortable in your own skin. Yeah. Okay, so there's another pose that you want to demonstrate for us that may be um, important this Valentine's Day. Sure. <laughs> or in your relationship somehow. Yeah, we'll go into eagle pose. So we'll take a squat. Swing the right elbow under the left and lift the right leg up and over the left. Oh, we got a balance today. Yeah, balancing pose here. So the benefits of Eagle is that it help. it's a compression pose. So like yeah. a tourniquet, you are cutting off the blood flow. Mm -hmm. And then upon release, so when you ladies are ready, you can release it. And we'll take the opposite side. Fresh oxygenated blood flows to the extremities. Okay. So opposite elbow, <laughs> opposite leg. And it makes you giggle. See, it's okay to giggle. It's totally okay right? to giggle. Uh, so it stimulates the reproductive organs. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. And there's something, you know, so you're thinking about your heart or your chest chest being open as well, right? Or moving your arms well, away from here, your chest here. As the elbows lift, you're getting mm -hmm. a deeper stretch for the lats. Mm -hmm. And the lats are super important in terms of opening the heart okay. and po the posture muscles. So for joint mobility, this is an incredible pose for okay, joint mobility. Okay, ladies, as we're out of time, pop into that last pose, please. Bridge pose. Bridge pose, and I think this is going to maybe speak for itself um, for our <laughs> viewers at home. Would you say so? Yeah, it's pretty standard. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, bridge pose helps to strengthen the muscles that support the pelvis, mm -hmm. and it promotes lifting the heart above the head, which, of course, is so important in terms of getting into the right mindset for sexy time. All know, right, I like it. Out of your head and into your body. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for bringing your bodies into our gym and helping us get out of our own heads. We'll head on into the studio, Scott. I'll take it from Olivia Yoga Studios booking up as we speak. Thank you for that. Let's take a final check of your traffic on this Friday morning. Uh, you made it to the weekend. Now we just need to get you to work on time. It's been a struggle to do all morning long because we've had...